turkey hunting in Hurricane Sandy. Or the outer arms of it. Or it's hitting southern New York. We're going up to the middle of the field.
Hey, um, I just got into a really good spot. I'm right exactly on the corner pine tree. Um, they've been wandering around the field the whole time, but they won't come close enough. Um, <laughs> if you want to give them a little blast my way, or a little toot or something. <laughs> They're all, they're all opposite the field from me. Yeah, just stay, just stay out of the, out of the plane of shooting. But tell me if you're going to do it first, you know what I mean? They're, they're all right on the, on the lower edge of the hill on the road across from me. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, that hill, that bottom edge, right? Wait, 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 let me get ready first, but, okay, um, maybe I should wait here a while, okay? Yeah, you're right near him. Yeah, just wait a second, though, wait a second, wait for me to hang up. Here, I'm gonna stay here for a while, is that okay? Okay, bye. One. Got two, I think. Oh, perfect. Full bag of turkey, baby. This one's not dead yet. <clears throat> oh boy! Oh my gosh! Whole bag! That couldn't have went any better. Hey guys, I thought I'd do a post video because I know it got really hectic out there while I was hunting. Um, basically, it's, uh, it's the end of October in New York, hunting turkeys in the fall. Um, if you're 
we're allowed a bag limit of two turkeys, hen or tom. And uh, I got this hen and this Jake. Um, what happened out there basically is my, we saw these turkeys on this farmer's field that we had permission to hunt on, and uh, and um, you know even though it's uh, it's it's really bad winds from the arms of this hurricane sort of hitting the southern tier of New York. Um, on the, you know, the edge of the hurricane, sort of. Uh, 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 even though it was bad winds, the turkeys were there, and, and the winds weren't so bad when I was hunting. So I figured I'd give it a go. And uh, uh, basically, um, I went out there, I got off the shoulder of the road, loaded up, um, ran quite a bit to try and hook around the turkeys, and uh, ended up sitting on this knoll for maybe half an hour waiting for them. They got, you know, within 400 feet maybe of me, but that was way too far out um, to take a shot with the with the gear I have, uh, just a normal full choke on a 870. So um, uh, basically I, I moved over to another spot, told my dad, hey, um, the turkeys are on this uh, the other side of this big field now. Um, see if you can sort of stand there and spook them over and uh, my dad uh, went over there and um, and sort of stood in front of the turkeys and that turned them slowly and they just walked towards me for over the course of a couple of minutes and eventually they were within 30 yards and uh, I waited for them to move past the there, there's these houses way in the distance beyond shotgun range and they're up on a hill a little bit and I'm shooting in this in this ditch I guess you know like a, a uh, I don't know what to call it, but you, you know, it's like a, a valley, sort of like a flat valley um, where the field is, and then the, hill, the houses are up on a hill a little bit. I waited for the turkeys to get out of the line of sight um, in this in this plane, and then you know the houses were already out of the, out of the line of sight in that plane, so they were completely out of the out of the picture. The houses. I waited for that. It was a very narrow window, a few degrees either way where the branches weren't there and the houses weren't there. I took one shot at the, at the turkeys um, uh, and then uh, reloaded, took another shot over here and another shot over here and two of those three shots connected on this hen and this Jake. Um, this is a lot of good for my family, my friends, myself. And uh, I'm really grateful for that. It was a fun hunt, for sure. It was really awesome.